OC Chronicles. This Lucky Lucci. We in here with the real Zodak. We in here with Zo. Who else we got? Introduce y'all self, man. I'm just brother. <laughs> H-O double L. Ah. Yeah, brother. So, first thing I want to talk about is these bad boys right here. I know the camera can't see them, but them bitches hard, brother. Tell mm. us about tell us about Anto, bro, and the products you got. Uh, so with, with Anto Worldwide, founded by uh, Zoe Joseph and K. John Brown, aka Mr. Ball Number Two in the cut. Y'all don't really see him, but he he always around. Uh, so when it came down to Anto, me and KB was like, man, we gotta start a shoe brand. And me being a visionary, I was like, man, we can't do that. Like, how the fuck we gonna start a shoe brand? Right. And he was like, man, we could do that shit. Believe it or not, all of the inspiration and creativity and stuff, like, it's just us. Just us two, we put our heads together. We might be calling each other crazy and this and that, but when we put our head together, we really create some legendary shit. Uh, we started our brand first release was um end of January. Mm-hmm. We made the first mock up uh end of December. Shit, we in December right now. Yeah. One year. One year. We probably released over two hundred pair. Mm. Crazy. Right. We only uh we only released about fifty pair with each color wave. Uh-huh. We sitting on like two hundred and fifty right now that's unreleased. That's just sitting there. Mm. Let me ask you a question. What does Anto stand for? So Anto is the Latin origin of the word priceless. So when Let's it comes go. to Anto, your first son can't get that again. That's your he priceless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when we when we got that, we was like, man, full letter word. We was we we used Nike. We did. We used Nike as an inspiration. We like, man, full letter word can't go wrong with that. Nothing too long. Uh, powerful meaning, impactful. Something that nobody used. So now if I see somebody saying, and to this, and to that, I'm looking at y'all like, bro, y'all vocabulary wasn't even there yet. <laughs> yeah, that's something I never heard of. So just me hearing that name made me wonder what it is, and that's going to wonder make you want to do some research on it. Yeah. So before that, like, y'all was y'all was like big sneakerheads? Yeah, we always cop. I'm talking about, <laughs> for sure, like me and KB, we... We can't. We grew up together. We um, yeah. went to elementary, went to middle school, played ball together, and everything. We split in high school. I personally was saving ten dollars a day to buy Jordans. Yeah. yeah. What's so your favorite I, pair? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to Brad Elevens. Uh, you like Elevens? Yeah. Brady Elevens hard. Uh, and the anniversaries. I still got them. They sitting. They sitting in the house. I don't even wear them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to touch them. <laughs> I'll put them For up. me, man, I think them cool grades hold a special place in my heart, dog. Them yes. shoes feel like they go with everything, yeah. dog. I, 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 fuck with I don't cool think grades. I liked them because I could never get them. So it was just like, fuck it. I got them. I got them twice. And you're a lucky man. 15 years I ago. never had the cool grades. I got the Space Jams, though. Never yeah, had I the cool grades. I ain't had the Space Jams either. Ooh. So it was, I missed out on a lot, man. Yeah. My ten dollars wasn't adding up as a kid. Shit, boy, it used to be way cheaper back then. Now, nah, man, it the resale makes... on them, Lord. Yeah, it's crazy. I wouldn't even think about buying Jordans right now. But like, you know, speaking of like inflation and how st- high stuff done went up, how does that affect you as a business owner? Uh, tremendously. Price is changing. Uh, sometimes we have to take on the inflation and not even put it on our um put it on our customers. Right. Cause if we raise the price, we we me personally, I play with the price. I want to see how our audience reacts. KB, he he mutual, so you gonna always have a good guy and a bad guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that's gonna test your pockets. He the one gonna keep you mutual. He gonna be like, all right, look, it's a set price. We gonna keep dropping at this price, and we gonna look at the we gonna look at the trend, mm-hmm. and it's always in between. They're willing to spend more than whatever that bottom number is. And less whatever that top number is, so we just play between that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that's key because you go too high, you run them off. You go too low, you lose too much profit. And everybody likes to think, think like the little people. Everybody likes to think like little people. How inflation is affecting us yeah. purchasing? They're not thinking about people like you who have a business. Inflation is affecting y'all the most. Right. right. 
material and all that time. Yes. All that. No, I don't really, I don't really hear that from a lot of people. Like, where you grew up at? Like, where you from? I was, I was was born in West Palm Beach, Florida. Real, real blood of a Haitian man. Uh, Mom and dad from Haiti. Was raised in Algiers, uh, 2004, right before um, it snowed in New Orleans. Mm, I don't know yeah. if y'all remember that. Y'all I, was, I, was, I, was, I was, was, I was staying at Harvey when that, when it snowed. Yeah, I, I moved right, right down the street, man. First house, first backyard. I got to enjoy the snow by myself. I'm the only child, so yeah. I was at home. I was like, damn, it's snowing. What the fuck is this? Real tough. <laughs> I actually have a picture in, in the snow that day. I had took me like. It didn't snow that much. Yeah, so I had like made me a snowball off of the car. Yeah. I took some snow off to the car and balled Loved it up, up and yeah. I had me a like snowball in my picture. I was too geek. Yeah, I was like man, 11 shit, back then. That shit was legendary. Then I moved, I, I swung to Arkansas a few years ago, snowing every day. Mm-hmm. And I was flying out every weekend. So I'm like, bro, this this, this not how I felt when I was a kid. It's different. So I don't know. But other than that, I was uh, pretty much Raised in Algiers, moved to Terrytown, moved to Gretna, around this area. But I was dipping back and forth. Uh, we got a few houses, so I was always back and forth. Went to Walker, left out of Je- left out of Jefferson Parish, went to Walker. Just been legendary ever since. Mm. Now earlier, I heard you say you uh, you played ball. How how was that? How was that experience? And how did that help you as a business person? Uh, as a business person, it, it taught me discipline and taught me structure. Cause it's like you know. You gotta be at practice. You you gotta put in the time to see the results. You gotta be waiting on your moment. Cause business the same way. I may drop two hundred pair of shoes and only sell ten percent. But it take that one that one person to post. Yeah. Clip me out. Yeah. Right. So just being disciplined, always understanding the books. I was always book smart. So when it came to sports, I really played because it was just my partners. Like all my partners was on on the football team, basketball team. Like I was just like, fuck, that's where they go out of school, that's where I'm going, we all right. getting it in. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, my most charitable moments was like park ball in middle school. Man, I loved park ball, man. Damn. I loved park ball. Me and KB won uh, West Bank champs. Our other partner sold us out for the, uh, for the national championship. <laughs> no. We fucked over. What y'all yeah. play for? Uh, we, um, I played for Oakdale, and I actually beat that boy team uh, yeah. in park ball. He talking about uh, he ain't had no time, and I had I had his whole team. <laughs> the, the favorite mom on the team outside smoking cigarettes. I'm playing asparagus. I don't know if you know asparagus. Yeah, man. I know asparagus. I'm at right. Oakdale playing asparagus. Drop seventeen. That's the bull shoes, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't Spirit. even had a real basketball. I remember the, the white, the white girl in high school had the asparagus. I ain't gonna I lie. When them. we ball and we play Oakdale, we beat y'all. But yeah, that's it was a close decade, game. We beat y'all by the last ago. shot. Last shot, we beat y'all. I played for Mac. I played for Johnny James. Oh, no, y'all was never, never an issue. But Not I played football era. for Nickerson, actually. Okay. I played, every year I played football from 6 to 14 for Nickerson. Turned 15, started playing basketball for Mac. Mm. Makes sense, makes sense. Now, what I, I want to talk about next is uh, the transition. Because, you know, what I know you from is this here. TMS. How, <laughs> how, was, how was the, yeah, this, this, you know what I'm saying? This, I ain't going to lie that. Look at that material, like, bro. Ask him how old it is, bro. I'm surprised when I when I pull it out. It's still I'm like, good. I can fit this, motherfucker, bro. This, but how was that transition? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, that was me finding myself. So, in, yeah. so in high school, we always like me and my partners that went to school together. That walk, we was like, man, we gonna start a brand. We gonna start a brand. None of them niggas was serious. I was serious. I'm like, man, look, I'm gonna get a design, I'm come back. But as I saw that. The interest wasn't in it like mine. I was like, man, fuck it. Got to college. Uh, couldn't play baseball no more because I was playing baseball when I left. What so college I was going, you attended? I went to Southern. Okay. So I went to Southern. Uh, I was actually getting scouted by Southern. Coach saw to me. Never happened. So I was like, man, fuck it. I can't just be no regular person in college just like at school because I was always into sports at school. So it's like yeah. it's a difference when you got class and then you got sports after so I'm like man at the class what, what am I supposed to do go sit outside the union just man I can't do this every day so I'm like man start a brand uh started TMS my first three releases sold out in three days every time I dropped I started off with long sleeves uh saucing on the back TMS 
actually made the TMS before Future dropped the song, mm -hmm. went crazy after, then everybody else TMS. Yeah. So it became more of an international thing. I'm like, man, this it's not my identity. Like I can't I don't see this being sit like sitting in sex. Yeah. Like TMS. Like nobody not gonna take that serious. Yeah. So I just kept going. I was like, fuck it. Just kept being creative, kept going, drop shit, playing with different color waves, drop some Mardi Gras sets, uh, drop some legendary shirts that niggas just pray that I ever drop again. And me from the beginning, I was always one of the people like after I drop, I'm not touching it no more. So it's either I ain't gonna have it or you ain't gonna have it. Yeah. He got it, I ain't got it. So, <laughs> like, so let me ask you this, where did your most support come from? I ain't gonna lie, my first drop, family. Family. When you start a business, that's that's when you gonna realize who fuck with you and who don't fuck with you. You call up all your partners that ask for favors. You call up all your partners that just chill around your family. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the first people to branch off. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Like if something happened to one of y'all. What happens? I mean, shit. Your family. Family. family, family, family or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And then who? How do you? How do the rest of the world hear about it? They hear family. about it from the internet, from the family. Yeah, family. family. Right, family. family is the, the source. The, the family bring it to the internet. Yeah, immediate so. immediate friends and family. Yeah. So true. why can't you use that in a positive manner to make your brand grow? True. What about any uh, any other business ventures you got going on? Do you have anything else going man, on? Man, I, I ain't going to lie. I got a lot of shit going on, man. If I <laughs> if I talk about all of it, the IRS go audit me. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Sure, sure, I'm self-employed self like a motherfucker. See, I see you I see you out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know you got a lot. You know you got a lot of different business shit like that. So how do you balance that? That work? That work? And, and man, I ain't going to lie. We was just talking about that. I'm like, because I didn't win a month this whole last month. I ain't selling. I probably went one shoe. KB sold some shit, but I'm just like, I'm in Houston, so I'm working on my gym. I just opened up a gym franchise with Hotworks. Uh, okay. My first official day of opening was December 5th, and I ain't even get to celebrate it because some shit happened logistic-wise where I had to play the GM role and I had to physically be there. Uh, so after that, I'm like, man, fuck it. I ended up finding somebody. They there right now, and I was able to come home for this week. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm like, man, K, 50 shoes sold this week. I don't care how it's sold, what it's divided by, but look, 50. Man, XKB, last time we sat down and was chilling. Like, I just left here and we sold some shit. We right, <laughs> right, on the grind for real. Not playing. Like, we look at that shit like like drug dealers. Like, I got to catch my pop. Yeah. <laughs> <That> <laughs> gotta go catch the pop. <laughs> gotta catch my pop. That like, makes sense. I, in my head, I'm, I'm book-oriented, like, oriented, but... I went the right route. Like, I went the book smarts route. Like, if people say they know me, they'd be like, man, this nigga really went to school all the way up until his master's and stopped. Oh, yeah. So it's like, in my head, I'm not going to risk my identity and who I really am. I'm not going to fake like I'm somebody else. But I'm going to use that mentality, that mindset, into something that works for me. Yeah. And merchandise is what it is. So it's like, in my head, if I sell 10 pair of shoes, I made a rack. So in college, uh, were you in any fraternities or anything like that? Yeah, I, I pledged Cal Alpha Psi, emphasis on the pledge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mothership, A-Sig, man, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's, it's wild on that side, but it's also, it also, I ain't gonna lie, it reset me mm -hmm. from that cockiness I had from coming from high school, going into college, being that nigga, because it's like, when you in college and you already that nigga, it's a difference of parents on, like, a dude from a country town that ain't really never had no recognition. So it was like, they saw me and like, oh, you a city nigga? We got something for you. We gonna take you a notch down. Oh like, no, they yeah. took me, they took me a few notches down. But that's all it's about. Like, they think that, I feel like when it comes to pledging, that shit is important because it's like the military. Yeah. I gotta break you down to build you back up. And I was in the military, so I could. So you understand. I understand. So I gotta break you down and build you back up. And once I build you up, oh, I won't even be able to tell you nothing. I mm -hmm. got little young neos I can't talk to. I can't yeah. tell them nothing because they they turn. It's like mm -hmm. I can't even humble them down because I didn't already broke them down already. Right. So now they at their maximum capacity. So it's like you take that structure and that discipline and take it throughout life. Oh, uh, you will never lose. Like it's certain days where I'm like, fuck. Shit ain't lining up. I'm spending more than I'm making. But I know how it go. It's the weather. So yeah. that bitch not sunny right now. Oh, yeah, but we gonna ball when that bitch come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Don't go crazy. So let me ask you this. In between 
Pleasant Kappa, playing high school ball and all that. Like, do you still have any contact with like certain people that's really, really helped you in your business world? Man, he's sitting right there by the door. That's what's up. Yeah. Ain't nothing coming in between us. Not not no not no female woman, sweetie, none of that. Not no money. My money is his money. Like we we share one account. Like on some business shit, we sell we share one account. Oh yeah. When it's time That's to bizarre. give him his cut, I'm calling him, trying to square the numbers out to make sure I'm making sense, to make sure he making sense, and ain't nobody getting a. Ask him. Ask him how far I go down to the dollar. I'm going down to the cent. Yeah. That bitch get mad at me like, bitch, you want your you six cent? You do it too much. <laughs> I'm like, man, yeah, I've been so with my six cent. That's Fucking discipline. right. Like, this, this yeah. how this shit go. You Just want letting this? you know. Yeah, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. With, like, if anything, I'll fall out with you and let you take whatever you took from me before I try to steal from you. Like, right. It don't make no sense. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like, I'm that type of person, too. I'd rather take the loss before somebody be able to say, I got over. Right. And that's just that's that's on my conscience. That's that's how I sleep at night. Like, I could make the money back. Right. I'm not worrying about that. I can't live with saying I got over on that dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely understand. Especially that. somebody genuine. Yeah. Yeah, you bro. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that to your to right hand man, because I, he know I got I didn't have family members, partners cross me on some money shit. Like, like you could have literally just asked me and I'd have gave it to you. I know how it feel, like, bro, my people from a third world country. Yeah. My mama came from poverty. She was a hustler. She made shit happen. Put us in a predicament where we balling now. Yeah. Like, we still having this conversation. What's the next level? How I elevate? Yeah. So that's what we working on now. But other than that, like, you'll never have to, like, ever second guess anything you hear about me. Like, niggas that know me, if they say it, I said something, man, He'd be like, man, that ain't so. I know. Yeah. Now, I know you was talking about, you know, being a, a sneakerhead. Uh, what I want, can you give me your top five designers all time, whether it be shoes, clothing, brand, just like your top five designers growing up? Top five? Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I hate to see Jordan, but Jordan was at the top. No, I, I think Jordan influenced everybody. Yeah, he <laughs> influenced a lot. Uh, I feel like Jordan and Nike run together. I, I wouldn't give him an individual title because it's like, whatever you've seen Jordan, you've seen Nike, they, they was one. They won, right. Uh, growing up, Adidas started growing on me. Yeah. I don't know if y'all remember. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? I don't know if y'all, y'all paid attention, but when these fucking sweatpants came out. Oh, uh, yeah. Bro, niggas is mismatching every type that. of brand. With, with G-Nice and all that. Yeah, like, yeah it's, bro, real. John, it's real. John's with them sweatpants. Reebok's with them sweatpants. Yeah. Chuck's with them sweatpants. You will see a person Slip with a sweatpants <laughs> on before you see a person with the whole set. Yeah, yeah they don't even really wear the top we, like yeah. that. The pants. We ain't no MC sure. Hammer niggas, yeah, man. Right. We, we just want the vibe. Yeah, they want the vibe. The, top, the way they fit. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. You, if you fit. walk around here with the Adidas pants and top, you look like a break dance. Yeah. You look yeah. like a yeah. 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 <laughs> You all paid in full, man. You you, you mess with yeah. some real stuff right now. Yeah, but, yeah. You, you Kermit or somebody, you hear me? Uh, and then after that, I want to say, I ain't gonna lie, Gucci was like always a thing in the black community. Look, Despite all of the crazy shit, like oh, they've actually shit. stolen patterns and different stuff from mm -hmm. the black community, but they was one of the influencers. Yeah. As the That's as the true. third one, the fourth one, I ain't gonna lie, we gotta go back to like Supreme. Crazy. I fuck with Supreme. Dog, crazy. Supreme probably the best shit out the simple. But cold as a motherfucker at the same time. Supreme, Supreme would make a ten thousand dollar table and sell it to you. Yeah, I wasn't even on I Supreme to Jim Jones now. I could so like Dipset now. What Dipset yeah, first was was Supreme. I that's what I, I got on Supreme. At it. Like that shit is fire. And Tyler the Creator. Tyler yeah. the Creator made that box logo. Tyler the it. Creator blew yeah. Supreme up for sure. For sure. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's the last one you got. I ain't gonna lie. My last one. I gotta go local. My last two, I gotta go logo, man. I gotta go logo. Fuck my it. last two, Made in the Hood, M Line, crazy, yeah, crazy, Shout crazy. Out. Once Shout the world out. figure out what the fuck we got going on in New Orleans, oh, it's gonna be a problem. Shout out for sure. Going crazy, for sure, for, for sure. sure. M Line just dropped a uh, a, a, a vest. 
I want it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and get it. Talking about the bubble with the different patterns. With the different patterns on it. Yeah, Crazy. man. Crazy. And Puma just dropped something with like damn near the same design. Yeah. Like, I, ain't, I ain't seen yeah. Puma yet. I don't really be rocking Pumas, but it's, it's it, they brown and black, like some hiking looking shoes. Fire. So to all the people who out there thinking about you know starting a business, like what's a couple things you'll tell them like on a mental slash emotional side of starting a business. And also, like, on the financial side, what you what advice you'll give somebody trying to start a business right now? Uh, financially, there's always ways around it. So you start an LLC, uh, apply for a credit card, you use somebody else's money to make you money. Uh, let's go back to the, like, weather of it. You got to be prepared and do your research and know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with that, also surround yourself around people that do whatever you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. So like my era is I went into franchising. I don't know, not one motherfucker that franchised anything. No so I'm over here trying to be like, fuck, how you figure this shit out? They telling me shit and using slogans when I'm talking to lenders. I'm calling my cousin. I'm like, man, you know what the fuck this mean? Like, I don't, <laughs> right. I don't know what this is. Like, the fuck you mean? I need a, a balance sheet, a PL. Like, I heard it in college, but bitch, I ain't never had to do it. Right. right. So it's like, you need you a CPA. Uh, so surrounding yourself around someone that actually is in that environment, mm-hmm. having a great CPA. Um, finding whichever way to fund your business, whichever suits you. So I can't tell you how, because there's different ways. It could go illegal, it could go legal, it could go middle a boat, like however you feel. Um, and just being prepared for the storm, because it's like, bro, this shit ain't easy. If that shit was easy, everybody would been doing it. Right, like we a man. A lot of us probably wouldn't even be sitting right here. We'd be like, man, I'm too fucking rich for this shit. I'm going, yeah. I got some. I got a yacht that I got to be on tomorrow or some shit. Mm-hmm. At that point, if we all successful, but it's the grind. You got to you gotta weather the storm and be ready to go to th- go through everything and stay down and, you know, put What's it in God's What's the biggest hump you had to get over? You you personally. Me personally. What's the I, biggest hump you had to get over? When, and when you got over that hump, you was like, all right, I'm ready for this shit. I ain't gonna even lie. My humps, they be big, but I be overcoming the fuck out of it. So let's we could we could talk some crazy shit. So I had to, I, I called KB. I'm like, hey man, I got fucking fifty or sixty four memberships. Franchise said I need two hundred in order to open my doors. I'm like, man, fuck. I'm in Sugarland. I don't know nobody. <laughs> How I'm gonna get two hundred memberships? Mm. My gym completely built. At this point, I'm paying bills for something that's done. Yeah. Not making no income. Yeah. Not even a dollar. So it's like, bro, I got to figure this out. We came up with a, with a little, little plot twist. Can't say what it is, but mm-hmm. came with a little plot twist, made the numbers run up. In three days, I got like 68 memberships. Yeah. So I didn't double whatever I had that I was going through for four months. Double that. Then doubled down again. Thanksgiving went crazy. Came back December first, two hundred. That's what's up. Opened up December fifth. That pressure, but that pressure is what makes you think. Cause if I would have never went through that pressure, I would have never thought. I ain't sleep for a week. I was like, man, fuck. Like my mama called me. I'm like, man, look seriously. There's nothing you can tell me right now that can help me. I'll talk to you later. So it was, it was a whole week where I'm just like, look, sweet. like you can't talk to me right now because like all you could do realistically is just pray. Tell God, give me the strength to figure this out because this, I'm on my own right now. Like it's embarrassing to post, damn, I just franchise, I got a hot works, and then come back and be like, fuck, I ain't even get to open. That was my biggest one. Like actually having the whole blueprint and then it's just one stipulation that the person put over you like yeah you can't open damn yeah hmm. but I overcame hmm. it they figured out what I did cause like when I'm telling them I'm like well yeah some of these people canceled <laughs> woo do woo like I don't know what you want me to do damn I'm when she said that I, it made me mad cause I'm like how are you more emotionally and tied to the point that I have cancellations than the point that I couldn't open yeah hmm. yeah so I went off on her. I was like, you can't sleep at night thinking about my problems, right? 
And she's like, you don't know what I do. I'm like, I know you don't. I know you go to sleep. Yeah. Right. I know you go I to sleep. I don't go to sleep. Yeah. Real shit. So she felt that and she stayed in her lane. But they take that, like, went through that. So when I go through my, I got two more licenses. When I go through my other two, it's on the pop. And I already know what I need to do from day one. The moment they give me the access to start selling memberships, we're going to fit. <laughs> yeah, man. So I hope y'all been listening. Because to all y'all who look at this man, like, oh. I went to walk with him. Yeah. I went to Southern with him. I well, could no, do that. Know. It ain't as easy as you think. I hope y'all listening. Where your spot located at? Where your spot located at? I'm in Sugarland. I'm right off of Exit 6. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you for you to tell the people. Oh, yeah. Mean. It's good. It's good. I'm, all, I'm off uh, Highway 90 in Sugarland, man. Black owned, bro. It's crazy. You go up in there, you and you think a nigga from New Orleans on it. Yeah, you'll be like, man, some white boy, some some family owns this or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm in a to to tell you the demographic, the average income is four hundred thousand, and my lease is about seven. So Shit. that goes to show you what type of community I'm in. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Shit. But I'm just blessed, you know. Like opportunities, God put me in in positions to uh, I ain't gonna lie, my story is still being told. So it's like I don't even know what's next, but He's showing me little glimpses. Of mm-hmm. what's going on, like flash here. Yeah, this was this what you gonna be doing? Flash here. Yeah, this what you gonna be doing? A year ago, I was, uh, friend. A year ago, I was before I franchised. I was in Arkansas, working for Sam's Club headquarters as a merchant. Talking to KB, I'm like, bro, I can't do this. I don't know if none of y'all ever been to Arkansas, but if y'all I've go to there. Bentonville, I ain't never been there. That's that's how <laughs> they. Been, have. I've been to um like Little Rock Benton area. Yeah. So you close? I'm close. Yeah, um, I don't know if you you peeped out the scene, but I ain't too it. many of us out there. No, mm-hmm. so yeah. I got a I got a small. I was told small that story. I ain't never been though. I the was only told time that, that I ever been in Arkansas, I was driving through Arkansas actually to go see my brother graduate from the National Guard. I got pulled over in Arkansas and went to jail in Arkansas. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah, scary, huh? Scary, cause I see who pulled me over, and I seen the jail that I went to. It yeah. was two cells in that jail. It was me and the cop that arrested me, just looking at each other. I'm like, yeah, I ain't getting out this bitch. Yeah, yeah. they gonna hold you. Yeah, I ain't getting out this bitch. You. Yeah, I ain't getting out yeah. this bitch. You the conversation time. over dinner. Yeah, you got nothing but time. It was the red, the, the black cell bars, like in a brick building. Like I was like, yeah, I'm not getting out this bitch. Yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> but back to the franchise and stuff so I'm in Arkansas I'm like bro I can't do this I got a year before I went mind you it's a six figure salary job so I'm getting paid real good like I could mm-hmm. take a flight every weekend which I did mm-hmm. I enjoyed it but uh talking to KB my fucking best friend I'm like bro I don't think I can do this shit before I went I'm like man I got 10 years in me I'm gonna stack up a meal I'm gonna be crazy I'm gonna go fed man I got out there I said ooh this shit's serious <laughs> like I'm here by myself yeah. When I tell you I didn't go out, I went to the, I went to work, the gym, and got food. Same routine. Cause I'm like, bro, if I, I'm, I'm a city nigga, so I'm like, if I go out to fucking uh, U of A, white boys go crazy, or somebody will go yeah. crazy, try to beat me up, or you know, wilding. Yeah. I can't call nobody, yeah. nobody. on my own. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking rationally. I'm like, bro, I'm not even putting myself in that situation. You used to, uh, you being used to being Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff way yeah. better. See, Pine, Pine Bluff, Bluff way is more black. Three hours away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You rather go home than go there. <laughs> three hours. I can take an hour flight on Breeze. I was listen. I was flying on Breeze so much. The lady said, "Do you work for us?" I said, "No." She said, "Well, your status on here says you you're an employee." I'm like, well, "I fly a lot. Yeah, every weekend. Yeah, back and forth. And I almost lost my job for flying back and forth. One of my uh my first uh manager, he was hating. He, he was from Dallas. He, he country bougie or whatever you want to call One it. Of them. Yeah, he was mad. But my second uh, manager, when I rotated over, and he was like, "Bro, as long as you get your job done, I got the job at Arkansas because I saved them seven million dollars in two months." Ooh, let that be known. So Ooh. that's why this black guy is in the same office with all of you other people that feel like I don't deserve this position. Mm-hmm. So once I. Came back home, me and KB went to High Works. We worked out right here on Lapelco. I was like, man, this bitch cold. He was like, man, you gotta come, bro. Like, they say you can franchise, woo, back to relationships, bro. Like, 
he the reason I'm on this path, like this journey. Like I was over there looking at Starbucks and Chick Fil A, looked at Chick Fil A and said, yeah, but this ain't never happening. Right. Like right. this, this too many stipulations. Looked at Starbucks, and I'm like, the royalties are crazy. Got into Howard's. He was like, man, you could franchise. Look, we gonna talk to the um, general manager. We did three workouts. Talk to the general manager. I, after you experience the workout, it's like, yeah, it's different. You working out in a, a sauna boot with infrared heat at 130 degrees. You're burning 300 calories in 15 minutes. Yeah. You sit on the treadmill, you, you need a, a long time to burn that. Mm -hmm. I've tried it. You, right. You're going to have to work for it. Right. But uh, infrared heat, crazy. Uh, so is it like better for people who time crunched? No, yeah. Like all of my clients, like I'll get fussed at from a client if my sauna boot isn't already on and hot because it takes five minutes to turn on. Mm -hmm. So if it's not hot, I wasted five minutes of her day. Yeah. Her time is very precious to her. Her time and she worried about five minutes. Her time is very precious to her. So it's like just different stuff like that. It's like, damn, bro, after COVID, nobody not playing. Like, I got to come up here. I got 15 to an hour, depending on who the, the person is, I gotta go pick up my son from soccer. This I gotta go pick up my son from jujitsu, and I'm like, damn, I'm like, bro, y'all breed like <laughs> they on a time crunch, like they going, they going. But that's we use that in a positive manner because we telling them like, okay, look, it only take 15 minutes to get a good workout in here. So now we use that that's to sell pitch. memberships, turn that into cash, and then we just we grow from there. I, I have no doubt in my mind, my location in the next four months, I have like 500 to a thousand members. Go crazy. Yeah, bro. No. Man, if y'all out there, close round Sugarland, man. Nah. Crunch for time. Go Honestly. get it in. Honestly. Don't get no BBL. Yeah. Go to High Works. Get it in. And All you need is nah. 15 minutes. And fuck with the Anto, bro. And it's like, I fuck 15. with you as a person, but I really fuck with your mind, bro. Yeah, my mind it's, crazy. It's hard, brother. That shit hard. But to close it out, bro, tell people where they can find you. Tell the people where they can get the the brand from, bro. Tell them where they can get the clothes, the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Everything. And y'all y'all can find, find me at the real the real Zodak on Instagram mm -hmm. and uh, Twitter. I don't know my TikTok. I don't even need to be on that. <laughs> uh, y'all can also follow the business page at um, Anto X TMS on Instagram and Twitter, and then y'all can follow KB. Can you come see what your name is? Bro. I don't know what you. Yeah, come know. get on the screen right oh, quick. Okay, let, him, yeah, yeah. let him see the other man behind <laughs> him. Talk, you know, spoke so highly of you. Yeah, man. Can you come tell him what your name is? <laughs> y'all can follow me at KB underscore two. Yeah, that's where y'all find me at. Instagram, Twitter. Solid assassin. Yeah. Mr. Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> don't be confused, man. Y'all heard the man. He. Definitely one of the people behind the scenes helping everything happen. Like the man said, man. Yes, it's sir. been real, man. Appreciate you, real Appreciate y'all, man. Yes, I'm happy we made this happen, bro. Real it, 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 it's fire. I, I, Leo was telling me, he was like, man, I was shit going crazy. And me and Leo, we actually met at Southern. Mm -hmm. Leo was already cool with my cousins, uh, Janelle and them. Okay. And he he know he know Adrian Pop like that all my people my family members. That's so your like, people. Yeah, man, his, I fuck flip, with them. Flip story. His te his my teacher is his mother. Wow. What? Yeah. Yeah. So That's I knew cool. about him before he knew about me. She be like, yeah, I was because his mom was like one of the cool teachers. Like when we go up in there, oh, we ain't giving her no problems. We we chilling. We, we a biologist. She got us dissecting frogs and yeah. pigs and shit. Girl, I won't do this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, this is this is <laughs> weird as fuck. Pretty but cool. cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So she had be talking about her son because he was playing ball and stuff. I'm like, who your son is? Man, when we play them, we gonna beat them. Ah, we talking crazy. You know, we at Walker. We ignorant. Yeah. I don't even know the dude just talking crazy. But ended up crossing paths with him. I'm like, man, I know who you is already. Like, yo, your, your mother taught me in class, bro. Like, I know who you is. She she spoke on you. Mm -hmm. We were like, for real? I'm like, yeah, ask your mama, she know me. My first name, government name that nobody else knows, yeah. but she knew. <laughs> uh, then at that point, we had Walker, we throwing parties together, we chilling, vibing. Been locked in ever since. Like, we call each other, just run it. That's why he got me in here. Like, he called me, like, man, make it happen. This week, I was like, whenever you call me and tell me make it happen, I'm here. 
That's yeah. what it's all about, man. The relationships, man. Whether it's business, whatever business you in, you got to develop relationships, man. That's what keep everything going. Shout out Adrian, man. That's my dog. Adrian, yeah. my dog. That's my I dog. Fuck with Pops, too. <laughs> but Adrian, really my dog. Lie. Pop, Pop, like the godfather of the Haitian community, to tell you no lie. What? Because. Uh, Cause it's like you got to think about it. a lot of our people come to the states and they don't speak English. The first person they're gonna call is Pop to come to school with them, to come to this office, to come do this, to come do that. Cause he's gonna translate for them. Yeah, it's genuine. Yeah, like I have nothing horrible to say about him. Like he's been detrimental to our people, and he's for our people. So it's like it, it's just always been like that. Shout out Pop. Real man. talk. I met him through here, and yeah. ever since I met him. That's a, that's a real one, dog. Yeah. Real talk. I, I love his a, energy. I mean, a drink on the table. Boy, real, real, mm-hmm. real cool. And he gonna come through with the Martel. What? <laughs> 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 come through with the Martel. We don't play about that. We don't play about that. <laughs>